Hello. In today's Java tutorial, we are going to learn about overloading methods. Overloaded methods are methods that have the same name in the same class. Three important things to know about overloading methods. First, overloaded methods must have exactly the same name. Second, overloaded methods must have different number and or types of parameters. Third, constructors can also be overloaded. We talk about overloading constructors in our two-part video series on constructors. Check the link up here in the upper right hand corner if you would like to watch that. Let's talk about the things that overloaded methods can't have different, what they can have different, and what they must have different. Overloaded methods can't have different method names. Occasionally a programmer will make an error and they will unintentionally give two methods different names. The methods will not be overloaded in this case. Overloaded methods can have different return types from each other. Overloaded methods can have different visibility. One could be public, one could be private. Overloaded methods could have different static or non-static values. Finally, overloaded methods could have different parameter names. The Java compiler needs to know which method is being called, so one of the three things must be different. First, the number of parameters, or the type of parameters, or the order of the type of parameters. For example, one method could have a string followed by an int, the other could have an int followed by a string. Let's look at some examples. We have three overloaded methods here. Output answer has no parameters. This output answer has one int parameter. This output answer has two int parameters. When we call output answer from the main method, we have one int argument. The compiler will use this to match it up to the appropriate method. Here it is. Let's look at another example. We have three versions of calculate answer. The first one has one int parameter. The second one has one double parameter. The third one has one string parameter. When we call calculate answer, we have one double argument. The compiler will use this to match it up to the correct version of calculate answer right here. Let's look at a third example. We have two different versions of compute answer. The first one has an int followed by a double. The second one has a double followed by an int. This called a compute answer will look for one that has a double followed by an int. Right here. Here's an example of two overloaded methods that have a lot of differences. First, one is public, the other is private. The first is static, the second is non-static. The first has a void return, the second has an int return. And finally, the first has a parameter a, the second has a parameter z. This is all fine, however there's a problem. Both have one Boolean parameter. This means when we call solve for answer, with one Boolean argument, the compiler won't know which version of solve for answer we want. Let's correct this. The second one we are going to change from Boolean to int. Now we have one solve for answer with a Boolean parameter and another with an int parameter. Now when we call solve for answer with one Boolean argument, it knows which one to go to. For more information, check out this website or type into Google Defining Methods Oracle and choose the first result.